Today we're going to take a look at the Hopkins plug-in simple wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. Now this is a custom fit part. This is designed to fit the 2011 and newer Chevrolet cruise vehicles. And on a custom fit part, I always like to recommend to you to go to our website, use our fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this harness will provide this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters that we do sell separately. <clears throat> now this will connect very quickly and easily. There's no cutting or splicing of wires. Basically, you just locate your connection points in the rear cargo area behind the tail lights. Plug in these key, these connectors right here, one on each side. Ground your white wire and your red wire. You'd run to your vehicle's battery. Now this does include these tail light converter, this black box right here, and this is to ensure that your vehicle's wiring will match that of your trailer. And again, it is a powered module, that's why it'll connect directly to the battery, and that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. All the terminals on these are a protective connection terminal to help resist corrosion. <clears throat> it does even come with this nice dust cap for your four-way that you can just attach to the four-way, and you can leave it attached if you like. But basically what's nice about that <clears throat> is when you're not plugged into a trailer, there we go, you can just take your cap, pop it right over the terminals, and that'll protect them from any damage or from the elements. <clears throat> it also comes with everything shown here on the table. It comes with a nice set of detailed instructions that describe how to install everything. <clears throat> but basically, just to show you how this will attach, what you want to do is, again, start by going to the rear cargo area and gain access to the tail lights. And then what you want to do is start on the driver's side, and you'll take the connector here that has the yellow wire in it, and that's for the driver's side. You'll unplug your harness from the tail lights and plug this in between there. <clears throat> and then you'll take the other connector that's the green wire, that's for the passenger side. It has an extra length of wire you can see, and that's so you can run this all the way over to the passenger side. And same way, unplug your harness from the tail light, plug this right in between there. Now what you want to do is with this module, you do want to attach this to a nice flat surface so it doesn't bounce around. They do have holes here that you can use screws for, or you can even use the included cable ties to attach it down. But the extra two wires you need to connect, there's a white wire with the eyelet on it. That's for the ground. You can connect that to a good clean ground if there's one nearby. If there isn't, they include this grounding screw that you can make your own ground. <clears throat> the other wire has a butt connector on it, is the red wire. That's the power wire. Now that runs, needs to run to your vehicle's battery. And to help you do that, they include this extra length of wire that will connect to the power wire. One end connects to there. And then you'll run this length of wire all the way up to the front to where the battery is. Now you don't want to connect this directly to the battery. You first want to run it through this inline fuse holder. So connect this end to the end of the fuse holder with the butt connector. And then the other side that has the eyelet on it, that'll connect to the battery. And once you got to connect it, take your included 20 amp fuse they include here. Pop it right into the fuse holder. Put your cap on there to protect it, and your system be all ready to go. And as I mentioned, they include extra cable ties to take up any slack in the wiring. <clears throat> the other nice thing is they do include this package of uh, terminal grease, which is also dielectric grease. And what you want to do with that is just put that on all your electrical terminals. So before you plug these in, put some grease on them, same way on these connectors here, and even on your four-way before you use it to plug into your trailer. That will help prevent any corrosion in those electrical connections. But that should do it for the review on the Hopkins plug-in simple wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.